hello Rachel here uh, this video I want to talk about specifically about weight loss surgery as a whole versus kind of natural weight loss um, and kind of talk you through how I've got to the decision of what I'm going to do um, I am a list maker I write lists for everything um, and so what I've done is I've gone through and written out the pros and cons for both natural uh, and I'm not going to do that all the time every time I say natural just mean I mean weight loss without weight loss surgery okay um, so I'm going to talk through kind of what the pros and cons are for both both weight loss surgery including all types of surgery just generally um, and going the other route and so on paper it doesn't necessarily match up to my decision and I was kind of like why I've got more pros for the one that I'm not going to go with and less cons and I think that that might be because um, if you were to score each thing on the list certain things are more important it might be a pro but it might be more important than something else and a con might be a bigger con than something else on the list so I hope that makes sense um, but I thought it would be useful just to for my own sake as well um, record down um, and diarise what my personal pros and cons are and I just want to make it clear that what I'm going to go through as well is based on my perceptions and I'm sure misconceptions of weight loss surgery and what it's like to live with weight loss surgery um, and what I know of kind of natural I did it again sorry I'm gonna stop um what I know of like natural weight loss methods um so again don't don't hate me in the comments if I've got if you're a weight loss surgery patient and you don't agree with what I'm saying I'm speaking from the position of someone that has recently been open to considering weight loss surgery and hasn't gone through it and lived what you've lived um, and so this is based on the opinions I've formed of weight loss surgery from many years of kind of media influence and that's not necessarily a good thing and the research that I've done since and, and the videos I have watched and the two specialists that I've talked to and I'll, I'll go through that in more detail in this video or the next one when I'm going to talk about um, kind of what's next for me. So I'm going to start out talking about natural weight loss, um, so non-surgical weight loss um, and the pros and sorry if I'm looking down it's because I've actually literally got a list I've got my pros and cons listed out in front of me so I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything off so the pros are a definite pros obviously um, not having surgery not having to cut open and alter my body um, I have only I, I don't know if you call it even surgery I had my wisdom teeth out under a general anesthetic before but that's really all I've had done I've never um, apart from like just normal ultrasounds and all that kind of stuff I've never had surgery I've never had stitches unless you count the ones in my gums um, so it, it's scary to me to think about being cut open and altering my insides either way whether you go band sleeve bypass it's it's altering you're changing yourself and that's a scary thing to to think about um so that's definitely a pro not having to do that um the next option is it's free and i know that that's kind of that's quite caveated isn't it because certainly in the uk and i know in australia because that's where i'm from um, and from everything I've read and heard and know about America, I'm sure it's true there too. And in any other country that you're watching this, I would be surprised if there's any exceptions. But it's more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat shit. You can buy a bag of like frozen cut chips for a lot less than you can buy a bag of potatoes to make your own chips. Like, and I know obviously chips are not healthy, but like that's the comparison like it's cheaper to buy shit food and bad food and high carb high sugar 
high fat foods than it is to buy some organic fruit and vegetable or even non-organic fruit and vegetable and meat meat's massively expensive so processed meat that's made from the cheaper off cuts and stuff is is cheaper <laughs> that's stupid and you know what i mean but when i say free i mean there's a big cost with surgery i'm not getting it done um on the healthcare system here or through private insurance i would be paying um, as a private patient so it's a lot of money coming out of my bank account um, the next item is it's safer clearly I mean if you're successful you don't have the risk of surgery so that's done there's no time of work required I don't have to um, have some recovery time I'm less likely to get loose skin or as much loose skin um, Obviously losing it over a slower time period means you're more likely to allow your body time to adjust and stuff like that. Uh, I won't lose my hair. <laughs> um, that, that freaks me out. The thought of losing some hair, um, does it grow back? I mean, from what I've watched and, and seen your stories, um, those of you that are post op and stuff, I understand it to happen around the four to six month mark. and that you do get your hair back it's just giving you time time for your body to adjust and so um yeah it's i have quite thick hair anyway so i'm hoping that me losing my hair won't be visibly noticeable if i do have surgery um and i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do later but i would hope that it wouldn't be too much of an impact but it's certainly a concern it's a pro really for not having weight loss surgery um less likely to have gallstones and need to have your gallbladder removed that's obviously a big factor with losing weight quickly and I already have <clears throat> a two centimeter gallstone um, I haven't had an infection or a flare-up for around four or five years actually um, but it's there I presume I don't think gallstones of that size just dissolve um, but I've not had any problems but if I were to have weight loss surgery it would probably become a problem and then I would yet to need to have yet another surgery um, not as me not as much impact on kind of social occasions or eating out um, interaction with colleagues and stuff over lunch or dinner or functions and so on like that like it's fine to be around your family for me it would be the idea of being around my family being having had weight loss surgery not uh, friends and family not a problem but when i'm out and i'm networking at an event or i'm away on a conference or something and you're having to sit down and eat with people in a professional context that you don't know you don't necessarily want to have to declare or um you know declare that you have had weight loss surgery or that you can't eat you don't want to be that awkward person right like even if you don't tell them why you don't want to be seen to be fussy or anything like that. Um, another pro, you can still eat out like a normal person. I can still go to a nice restaurant and have dinner with my boyfriend and not just eat a starter or something like from my perception. Um, all foods and drinks are still available. So if later down the line, you know, once I'm further in the line of losing weight and it's my birthday I might want to eat a piece of cake I could do that um, not and I'm this might be a bit con um, contentious but there is a perception and I know now based on the research I've done but it's certainly a perception I think of a, of most people that you're not taking the easy way out weight loss surgeries seem to be the easy way out and Although I know now that not to be true, there's still the perception in society and that people you come into contact with. Uh, and I mentioned again, like I travel a lot um, and it will be easier to do that if I'm um, going natural. Okay, so that said, the cons of doing that. Um, it takes longer, it's slower. I don't have a good success record. I have never managed to lose like more than I don't know, five, seven kilos, which 
I don't know, what's that, like 12 pound, 14 pound, something like that. I've never been successful. I, it takes so long, and I mentioned this in a previous video, it takes so long to get any kind of results. Sorry, noisy traffic outside, I hope um, you can still hear me fine. Um, that I give up, I, you know, I get so frustrated and you're putting in all this effort and you're sacrificing and you don't see the scale move when you don't feel any different in your clothes and so you give up, start again. Um, so it takes longer, it's slower, I'm more likely to fail for all of those reasons, that's a big con. Um, another con, and it's also on my pros list, is that all food and drinks are still available. There is nothing that you literally have to cut out. I mean, you should, obviously, but if you wanted something, you could still have it. There is nothing there forcing you to not do that. And the last con I've got listed is relies too heavily on um, mind over matter, like my willpower, which is not the best. As I mentioned, I don't have a good track record. I don't stick at it because I don't see results. So I need to be consistent and doing it natural means you have to be really, I mean, for anything, obviously you have to be really mentally strong, but you have to have the discipline because you don't have anything physical helping you be disciplined, if that makes sense. So weight loss surgery pros, it removes a lot of the willpower factor, which I just talked about. Like there is something forcing you to do what you're meant to do. Um, and that help in forcing you to change because you have restriction, because you, um, because you can only eat so little that you need to make sure that you're eating the right stuff so you get the nutrients and all that kind of stuff. Um, another pro, and like it was on the pros and cons of the other list, is it restricts or prevents you from eating certain foods or drinks. And um, the doc, I've spoken to one surgeon and I've spoken to a bariatric nurse <clears throat> during my um, kind of researching phase, and they always say, "Are you? Do you have a problem with sweet or savoury?" And I'm like. I have a problem with soft drink. I guess you can count that as a um, as a sweet, but my weakness is soft drink. I love sweet food. I love savoury food. I probably have a problem with all of that. But my biggest thing, I think, is um, is fizzy drinks. Uh, it's quicker. Wait, the surgery is quicker because you are forced to be consistent. You um, are having a lot of calorie restrictions and things, so you're going to get results quicker and you're gonna have more consistent weight loss. Sorry, the video cut out. Um, so the last kind of two items on my pros list for weight loss surgery were a greater likelihood of being successful. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have a good track record. I have tried and failed on almost every diet known to man. Um, and even just when you don't die yet, you just have lifestyle changes. I failed each and every time. That's why I'm the way I am and I'm in the position I am. I don't have a good success record and weight loss surgery potentially will mean that I'm more successful. And the last item on the list is that because of the increased success um, with weight loss surgery, I'm more likely to get pregnant and get pregnant quicker, um, particularly because of my age. I'm gonna be 35 in March, um, and that's when your fertility, like, it's already declining. Like, every year you age, your fertility declines slightly, um, but at 35, it takes a steeper decline. Um, so I, I'm up against that, and I'm desperate at this point. I'm, I'm so desperate to have my own family, and so is my boyfriend. Like, we just want, we're ready, you know? Like, I'm long ready. I would have become a mum at 22 if I could, but, um, yeah. Lots of people have said to me, like, because of my age and people know how much I want to become a mum and to have a family, and they're like, well, you put your career first and that's why. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no. Sorry, noisy traffic. My career is something I've done 
and achieved while I've been waiting and while I've been trying and while I've been preparing like I'm not gonna sit around and put my life on hold but that's not why like I would give up everything I have um, the job I have which I love like I'd give it up tomorrow if it meant having a baby um, yeah anyway so the cons the cons of weight loss surgery according to me um, I'm more likely to have gallbladder problem and then have to have surgery as I mentioned I have a gallstone so I'm kind of if I go down that path um, that's something I just have to go okay I'm gonna have weight loss surgery and sooner rather than later I will have my gallbladder removed that's kind of I'm considering it as a fact um, at this point so I'm also more likely to have more loose skin whenever has someone over the years has mentioned just in passing conversation oh have you considered weight loss surgery I'm like no <laughs> like I don't want to do that I have been adamant my whole adult life that I would never want to do weight loss surgery because I'm more terrified I think of having loose skin I was more terrified of having loose skin um, that's not the only reason I ruled it out I certainly ruled it out because I thought it was cheating I thought it's taking the easy way out and you know I'm like an idiot thinking I'm better than that like I don't need to resort to that I'm not that desperate I'm not that unhappy I'm I can do it myself but I am that unhappy and I am that desperate and I can't based on my history unless something really massively changes up here I can't do it by myself my track record tells me that and um, anyway I'll, I'll keep going through my list sorry I'm getting ahead of myself you probably know by now what I've decided I'm gonna do I was trying to build suspense and it totally is not working is it um anyway so more likely to have loose skin I'm terrified but I have seen some amazing videos on YouTube since I've been doing this research and those of you out there that have had your tummy tucks and your breast lifts and you know your full body you know, lifts and tucks and whatever you look amazing and if I can look as good as you man I, I can't even imagine how you're walking through life right now and you must not know yourself like and that must be just the most amazing feeling um, so yeah that doesn't bother me anymore um, I'm gonna be emotional <laughs> you guys have been so inspirational I swear like thank you to everyone that puts yourself out there on YouTube honestly you don't know how 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 helpful it is and that's I guess you know partly why I want to make my own videos because I I think I have a different story to tell um, different kind of challenges and, and whatever so I hope to add to what you are contributing um, as well anyway uh, so another con it restricts what you eat what you drink um, for the rest of your life like you will never be normal again and so it's something that you have to live with definitely I've got a big con from what I understand I can never just like chug down water again I love like or any kind of drink like when you're thirsty or it's a hot day like just being able to like skull a big glass of icy cold water Hmm. I'm not sure that much can beat that like and the thought of not being able to do that again is kind of like oh man I'm really gonna miss that will I miss it more than being skinny no nope. so it's on the cons list anyway um, there's a risk of becoming dehydrated or malnutritioned if you don't do what you're meant to do if you can't get your water down if you can't get your protein in um, and so that's you don't take your vitamins regularly and I am shit at taking pills regularly like never done it um, anyway so that's a factor that's that's on the cons list for that reason um, being cut open going under anesthesia um, having my body parts altered scares me I'm not gonna lie uh, the next ones I've got down and again I'm saying this a lot of this is based on my misconceptions of surgery beforehand um, and just different circumstances I'll come through to 
sorry guys I live on what the UK call a high street which in Australia we call a main road I don't know what you call it in America or wherever you're watching this so I've got a lot of traffic going down past my apartment it's quite noisy sorry um so where was I the embarrassment of telling people you weren't strong enough to do it for yourself I'm just gonna leave that one there um, whether people consider that you are not as successful as you are because you haven't done it yourself like do they think that you're a failure does it matter what they think you have to weigh that up no depending who it is right um, the idea of never being normal again like always having this impact every day like I don't know. It it must be um, quite something to walk through life never having to think about can I eat this? Can I do this? Like having diet and um, weight loss and things be cons it, it's all consuming, isn't it? Like it's all we think about. It impacts everything. I would like to just have one day where it doesn't enter my head and um, if you have weight loss surgery it's always going to be there like I think for years I've fantasized about losing weight and then being skinny or being the goal weight I don't have visions of being skinny I have visions of being normal um, but you know you think oh if I just do this and I get down there I, this, I won't have to think about this again. It will be all smooth sailing. But of course that's not true. Like our metabolisms are different. We have changed. And so, and this is whether you go natural or you go weight loss surgery. Like it's always going to be a factor of your life forever. Um, so it's a different kind of normal though, have, being a weight loss surgery patient than, than not. So that's on the cons list. And the last one I have on my list um, is... It will be challenging to travel and to work being, I think probably more so in the first, certainly immediately post-op, <clears throat> once you're safe to travel again, um, but certainly I think in the first year or two, while you're still in the losing weight phase and, you know, th th there are not as many foods open to you because you've not adjusted yet, like traveling for work will be more difficult like yesterday for example I had a flight um, to the Netherlands at 7 30 in the morning so I was up at 4 left my house at 5 um, got to the airport scolded coffee um, got my plane I went straight to the office um, there there all day back on the plane at 7 30 and home by half past nine last night like there was not a lot of opportunity for me to go out and make a healthy lunch choice or dinner choice yesterday okay so um sorry it's now night time uh at the end of the bit that you just watched the doorbell rang and and i got distracted with work and life and here we are just to finish up um i've taken you through all of my personal pros and cons um, and um, my decision is to pursue weight loss surgery. I feel really good about that decision and I feel confident and impatient now to get to the other side and to start losing and to start being successful and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I feel, I feel good and I feel confident about it and yeah, so now the next decision is band versus sleeve versus bypass and uh, which one is right for me and I have my preference on that and I'm going to talk about that in a separate video because this one is massively long sorry um, I have my preference and I don't know yet the surgeon that I'm going to book with, with whether that will also be their recommendation so I'm I'm reserving judgment at the moment um, but I will take you through that in a separate video cool so yeah fuck you PCOS I'm gonna do this I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the weight and I'm gonna get pregnant hopefully easily um, but one way or another it's gonna happen for me and I feel really positive
and a week or so ago I was in such a dark place I went to see my GP and she's like you still want to get pregnant and I was like oh, desperately and she's like you're nearly 35 you need to get on with it and I was like I know thank you um she said it nicely and she's a lovely GP but like that just sent me into such a spiral of Oh, man, I was low. I was feeling so low. My boyfriend and my sister were just worried. I, I mean, it was, anyway, it was not a happy place a week ago. But to say now that I feel positive and that I feel like I'm going to be successful for the first time, that feels good to say. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I don't think really many people will. Um, but thank you if you did. And... I leave me a comment if you're making also YouTube videos or if you're at the start of your journey then please leave a comment down below um, so I can follow your channel if I'm not already um, I'd really love to follow along with other people and go on this journey with some people that are kind of at the same stage as me and um, that'd be really nice cool so I um, hope wherever you're at in your journey that you are kicking ass and um, yeah, speak soon. Bye.